Hello, perceptive actors. I'm Richard Klein. So what kind of acting do you want to do? Acting, that's a tough business to break into. Have I seen you in anything? So how's the theater thing going? You're a theater major? Oh, so what are you planning to do with that? Uh... Yeah. Let's look at how to redefine these questions and give answers with confidence that give people a proper insight into the wonderful world of acting and the wonderful things that you are doing with your creativity. Afterwards, I will introduce you to someone's work who is absolutely phenomenally brilliant and give you her advice on how to answer the specific question. So tell me about yourself. You know, I'll be completely honest with you. I really did not like going to social events or gatherings for really a few years after I graduated because I always felt that I was put on the spot. No matter what, when I introduced myself and the subject came to acting, the topic of discussion very quickly became about me, almost an interrogation of me, the person, down to my core. You know, if somebody was in real estate and was at a networking event, the person, someone would ask, oh, so it's, you know, how, what do you do? In America, we love to ask, what do you do? Uh, so the realtor would say, oh, I'm in real estate. And the person who asked would go, oh, cool. So, you know, how has the market been in contrast when someone says, oh, so what do you do? And they respond, oh, I'm an actor. Suddenly we get this onslaught of questions, like I stated in the intro. I almost feel this need to measure up or to be a celebrity somehow, but obviously I'm not because they didn't know who I am. My face is not on the side of a bus right now or on a billboard. So how can I confidently share what I'm doing with somebody that has no idea about my industry in a way that feels very positive and in a way that lets me kind of retake control of my end of the conversation and not feel so put on the spot. So the realization that I had that changed everything for me and made me even excited to go to social gatherings or networking events is that I realized that fundamentally everybody in a social interaction wants to find a point of connection, a point of understanding, something that they can jive with the other person on. And so on a topic like acting that can be quite foreign to someone that's not in that field, it's difficult for them to ask the right questions to elicit the connection that they're seeking. And by you, the actor, kind of taking the reins and redirecting the conversation, what you're really doing is giving someone an inside scoop or a backstage pass into the world of theater, the world of acting. So before going to a networking event or even going home for the holidays, take some time with yourself and journal. What do I love about acting? What recent projects have I done that I'm excited about? What is my dream when I graduate? Or what dream school would I love to get into? All of these kinds of questions, by knowing your responses to them will help you when you have these interactions, okay? Let's re-ask some of these questions and see how we can redirect the conversation. What kind of acting do you want to do? This one I couldn't stand for the longest time. I did not understand what people were asking about. What kind of acting? I mean, good acting? Inspiring? What, what do you mean, what kind of acting? Okay, when someone asks this question, they may be asking, oh, do you want to work in theater or do you want to do film and television? So what kind of acting do you want to do? Oh, actually, I'm really interested in independent film. So rather than auditioning for the big TV shows or even Broadway theater, I want to work with the up and coming film directors that make these movies that go to all of the film festivals. That's a tough business to break into. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, people think that all the time, but actually work as an actor is very thriving and really quite diverse once a little bit of digging is done. In truth, with the internet and with all of these streaming services, there are so many TV shows always happening all the time. Really, it's kind of like being in the Wild West again. 
I mean, I can create a web series and put it on Vimeo or YouTube, and there are all kinds of festivals and competitions to get my work known, and then I can find the right people or the right investors that are interested in my work, and from there my career can take off. Remember that just by being an actor, you are already such an interesting anomaly to people. Think about it, you go on stage in front of people and vulnerably share your emotions and put yourself in the circumstances of these characters who are in such intense situations again and again and again. All right, now I am very excited to introduce you to the work of someone who you should absolutely know, and that is Dallas Travers, known as The Actor's Advocate. I do not have a sponsorship from her. I met her briefly when she gave a workshop at my grad school and have since participated in a couple of her programs. They work. Definitely check her out if you're interested. Now, she offers this great formula for answering the question, so tell me about yourself. Begin with something that is personal from your past, followed by something that is personal in your present, and then close with something that is professional in your future. So past personal, present personal, and future professional. So Richard, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a Southern California native. I uh, grew up going to Dodgers games as a kid, and I still go to at least one game a season, no matter how good or bad they happen to be doing. Uh, this year I took up rock climbing, and I love so much how this sport requires physical strength, but also a lot of mental strength and strategy. I also just finished shooting a short film that I wrote and produced, and I'm so excited to be in the post-production phase of the project. Uh, we're planning on having the cut done by the end of the month, and I'm super excited to submit it to all the festivals next season. So fingers crossed. So there it is. Past personal, present personal, future professional. Do check out Dallas Travers' work. Her link is, again, down in the description. I highly recommend it. Don't have a sponsorship. Thank you for tuning in. Please let me know how your next networking event or family reunion goes. Please click subscribe and the notification bell to receive more insight for the training actor. Break a leg.